In this tutorial, we will learn how to create this object in 3D. To switch to 3D modeling, click here and select 3D modeling. To view the Z axis, click here on unshared view and select AC isometric. Then to shift this UCS icon, give UCS icon command. Enter, choose no region option. Now in this object, at first we will create this bottom plate of 70 by 150 size. Click on rectangle. Give the first point. Take your cursor away. Give the distance in x direction. In x direction we want it to be 70. Type 70. Then give comma. Then in y direction we want it to be 150. Then press enter. Then double click middle mouse button for zoom extend and zoom minus. Then to apply this chamfer, now here total distance is 150. This is 75. That means this remaining distance is 75. Then here total width is 70 and this is 16. That means this distance will be 54. That means we will have to apply a chamfer of 54 by 75 size. Click on arrow near the fillet and select chamfer. Then click on distance. If in your case this command line is not visible, then you can select the distance by pressing down arrow key. Click on distance. Then give first distance we will give it. 54 enter the next will be 75 enter he is asking us to select first line so we have given 54 as a first distance we want that first distance on this line therefore we will select this line as a first line and we want 75 on this line so we will select this line as a second line and click then to convert this object into 3d you will have to use this press pull command. Click on press pull. Take your cursor inside the shape. Click there. Take your cursor above. And then give the thickness of 16. Enter. And escape to stop the press pull command. Here is the 16 thickness for this part. To convert this object in solid visual style. Click on this 2D wireframe here and we will select this shaded with edges so that edges will be visible. And next we will have to create this portion. Now this portion is located at a distance of 36 from this line and at a distance of 28 from this line. So at first we will locate this point. We will copy this edge at a distance of 36. Click here on the arrow near the extract edges and select copy edges. Then select this edge, enter, give one base point, then click on orthon so that line will be straight or direction will be straight. Then give the direction and give the distance of 36. Enter. Then again click on copy. Then other distance is 28. We need to copy this line at a gap of 28. Select this line. Enter. Give the base point. Give the direction. We want to go in this direction. And give the distance of 28. Enter. And click on exit. Exit. Zoom it. We have located this point. Around this center line there are two circles, one of 16 diameter and other is 32 diameter. And gap between these two circles is 32. At first we will create this line at 32 gap by using offset command. Click on offset. Then specify offset distance of 32. Enter. Then select this line. Then give the direction on this side. I will just click. 
and enter to stop the offset comma then i need to create two circles click on circle center radius give the center point center point will be intersection of these two lines take your cursor away the year radius will be 8 for first circle again enter to repeat the circle command give the center point take it away give the radius of 16 okay. enter then i want these two circles around this point also so i can use the copy command click on copy select these two circles this one and this one then press enter then give the base point base point will be the center of these two circles and give the second point second point will be the intersection of these two lines and press escape then i will create these connecting lines click on line you can also use the polyline or simple line will also work i will choose this polyline Then give this point as a first point, click on this intersection and this will be the second point and escape. Then I will copy this line, click on copy, select this line, enter, give base point. I will take this end point as a base point and this point as a second point. This intersection and this intersection and escape. Then I don't need these internal circles. To remove them, I will use the trim command. Click on trim. Then I will need to define the cutting edges. I will choose this line as a first cutting edge, this line as a second cutting edge. Then press enter. Then select object to trim. So I will click on this circle. So it will be removed. Enter. Then again enter. Then I will choose this line and this line as a cutting edges enter click on this circle to remove this arc and enter then i need to convert this shape into 3d for that again we can use press pull command click on press pull now because of these lines actually we are not able to select multiple portion so there is one option we can remove all these lines or we can select one portion and to add the other portion we can use this multiple option and select all the other object then press enter then give the direction now here thickness of 3 is given give the thickness of 3 enter then we need a through hole here now because of these lines we have to use multiple option what we will do we will remove this line so that in single press full command we can create this hole click on erase and select these lines to be removed when it turns into gray at that time you have to click on it now by mistake i have selected this object also and i want to cancel the selection of this object for that you have to press shift and click on this object so it will be removed from selection set here it is showing one removed then press enter the lines has been removed then again we will use the press pull command we will click inside it take your cursor below and click and escape and if you orbit it to orbit press shift press middle mouse button and drag the mouse so here a through circle is created then we don't want these lines we can use the erase command click on erase and select this arc then this line and this arc and press enter so those are removed then click on ac isometric so it will show in isometric view next will be to create this vertical portion now this portion is vertical therefore we will have to change the plane if you want to work on this plane or plane parallel to this surface then you will have to use right UCS and if you want to work on this surface then you will have to use 
front UCS. So we will have to work on this surface. So click here and select right UCS. Then we will need to create this object away from this object so that it can be press pulled very easily. Now here if we see the dimension, here the diameter of this circle is 50. So at first I will create this line of 25 that is half of this 50. Then the length of this vertical line will be 50 minus this 16 that is 34. This is 150 length and we will create one tangent line. Take the line command or polyline, give the first point, take your cursor on this side and give the length of 25, enter. Then take your cursor below, give the height of 34, enter. Then take your cursor on this side, give the length of 150, enter and enter. Then create one circle here, click on circle. Center radius give the center point and click on this point. It will automatically take the length of this line as a radius. Then create one line here, click on line, give this point as a first point, then take your cursor over this circle, press shift and press right click and select tangent option. Then click on this circle and press enter. Then remove this line and this circle. Use the trim command. You can also type TR for trim. Then enter. Then select cutting edges. This one and this one. And this one. Then press enter. Then click on this line and this circle. And enter. And to convert into 3D, again we will have to use press pull. Click on press pull. Take your cursor inside the shape. Click there, take your cursor on this side and give the thickness of 60 and enter and escape. Then next will be to create this projected cylinder. Now here thickness is 25, here thickness is 16. That means 25 minus 16 will be 9. And we already know the diameter of this circle is 50 and internal circle diameter is 25. We will create one circle, click on circle, center radius, then take your cursor on this circle, now it is showing center object snap, click there, then give the radius of 25, enter. Then again use the press pull command, click on press pull, Click inside this circle, take your cursor outside and give the thickness of 9, enter and escape. Again we need to create a hole, for that again click on circle, take your cursor on this circle, once it shows the center, click on it and give the radius of 12.5, that is 25 diameter. Then to create this hole, again use the press pull command, click on press pull, click inside this circle, take your cursor inside and click and escape. Then we don't need this circle, select it and press delete on keyboard. Then we need to move this object and place here, click on move, select this object enter then this point will be the best point click on it and this point will be the second point or press f8 to make ortho off and click on this point then remove this object click on erase and select this object press enter now here this object and this object is separate we want to combine it for that click on solid union and select both the object and press enter here both are combined then to give color to this object double click on it 
click here and select your desired color click on the select color and choose the color you want and click on ok and escape here this object is created completely thanks for watching we will stop here